Hey guys, welcome to the vlog and for this video we're gonna be solving again another problem about weirs and for the those who did not watch my video lecture about weirs, kindly watch my video. There is part 1 and part 2 and I will link that on the description below. Let's go! Let's go! So this is the problem guys, problem number 11. A triangular weir has a vertex angle of 60 degrees. The head of overflowing water at the weir is maintained at 700 millimeters. If the weir coefficient is 2.1, determine the discharge of water at the weir. So illustrate muna natin para mas maintindihan natin yung problem. Say, merong section ng channel dito. Yan. So, section lang siya. At may installed na triangular or V-notch weir dun sa channel. So, ayan, given na yung vertex angle, which is 60 degrees. So, yung vertex angle is yung angle kung saan ang opposite side niya is yung open na part ng weir. Or yung open side ng weir, that's theta is equal to 60 degrees. So, ayan, ang sabi sa problem ay maintain daw yung head ng water. So, baba ko ng konti. So, maintain daw yung head ng water. At, uh, H is equal to 700 millimeters. So, given naman yung weir coefficient, so that's C sub W. So, hindi yan yung C o yung coefficient of discharge. At yan ay C sub W. At take note lang din na more than 1 yung value ng weir coefficient. Unlike uh, discharge coefficient or coefficient of discharge, ang coefficient of discharge should be always less than 1. So, ang tanong ay kailangan daw natin ma-determine kung ano yung discharge or the required, oops, so, yeah. the required is, the required is the actual discharge. Let's go! So, let's compute for the value of the actual discharge. So, bagoyin ko lang yung color ng pen. So, yung formula natin for actual discharge is 8 over 15 times C times the square root of 2G times tangent of the vertex angle over 2 times H so, yung head raised to 5 halves. So, medyo mahaba yung formula natin para sa triangular weir. Kaya lang, mapapansin nyo, hindi naman given dito yung C. C is not given. Pero, tandaan natin na itong function na to, 8 over 15 times C times the square root of 2G is also equivalent to the coefficient of the weir or the weir coefficient. So that's 8 over 15 C times square root of uh, 2G. So replace natin to as C sub W. Tangent theta over 2 times H raised to 5 halves. So ayun, pwede na natin i-plug in yung mga given. Given naman ang C sub W or yung weir coefficient given naman ang uh, head which is 700 millimeters at given din syempre yung vertex angle at 60 degrees so that is 0. Point, or rather 2.1 for c sub w times tangent of uh, 60 over 2 uh, degrees times h so input natin dito yung in terms of meters 5 halves. So, automatically, ang magiging answer natin dito is in terms of cubic meters per second. So, input na natin sa calculator that is 2.1 multiplied to tangent uh, 60 over 2. So, yun naman ay 30. Alam na naman natin yun. Anyway, input ko pa rin then multiplied to uh, 0 0.7 raised to 
5 halves. So, that's 5 over 2. So, in derivation ng formula na to ay makikita nyo dun sa aking video lecture. So, yung ating computed na discharge or na actual flow rate dito sa triangular wear na to is 0 0.4 Nine, seven, yeah, cubic meters per second. So yun, ganun lang kadali. Let's go! Ayun, yun lang para sa video na to. Sana may natutunan kayo at see you sa next video. Thanks!